Hello everyone! Well, this is actually my second time I'm doing this video because the first time the sun was out really, really bright and when I went to replay the video you couldn't see the colors very well. This uh, video is specifically about sun patients. Uh, sun patients, well, they're a form of an impatient, a uh, New Guinea impatient to be precise. New Guinea impatients, as the name would indicate, are native to the island of New Guinea, which is located just north of Australia. And uh, New Guinea impatients uh, can reach heights to one to two feet tall by the summer's end. And they have long, narrow leaves with uh, distinctive points and serrated ed edges. But here we have something called sun patients. And they were developed, I believe, by a company called Cicada. And I bought these, I've bought these every year for the last eight years. And I'm able to find these easily in New Jersey in every single nursery that I go to. But this year is the first time that I bought sun patients that are called compact sun patients. And I am just loving these compact sun patients. They have, they're shorter, they're not as leggy and tall as the regular sun patients. And I noticed that they have a lot more blooms to them. Now I have mine, which I put every year on my deck railing in a pot that's specifically made for a deck railing. As you can see, it has a groove. You put it right on, you measure. I think they have two different sizes for the grooves. You measure your groove, your wood on your deck and you buy your pot and they look beautiful on your deck railing. All right, so sun patience, love well-drained soil. I would suggest putting them in potting soil. Now you could put them in hanging baskets uh, patio containers or garden beds. But if you put them in your garden bed, make sure that the soil is very well drained and maybe put some mulch in and uh, some potting soil and mulch and have it nice and soft. They like the, to be evenly watered. They don't like to be dry. If they do get dry, you'll notice that the leaves and the flowers will droop. And as soon as you water them, give them a good water, within an hour they'll perk up again. So not to worry unless you don't water them for days and days and they stay droopy for days. They do not like to be cut back. So do not cut them back. You don't have to deadhead them, which means take off the old blooms. The new flowers will just cover the old blooms. And as far as fertilizing them, I fertilize them not too often. I would say maybe once every three weeks, I fertilize them with just a regular fertilizer. Um, I like the liquid miracle grow, or you could use, um, you can use the crystals, the miracle grow crystals. I like for them. Now you could see these sun patients will do well in full sun part sun, and even shade. I get about an hour and a half to two hours of sun a day back here on my deck. And they do very well with that little bit of sun. So sun patients can take full sun, whereas impatients can't. And that's why I've always chosen sun patients because of, I get that bright afternoon sun. This is the south side. And then there's trees, so it goes away. And I have shade the rest of the day. 
Now, I think they look lovely with Creeping Jenny. This beautiful vine is called Creeping Jenny. Not Creepy Jenny, Creeping Jenny. And this is the second year of Creeping Jenny. You can keep them outside, in the soil, even in hard frost. And in the spring, they'll start to grow again. And you can repot them like I did these. I just broke them up and I put them in. And this is the second year. And this is because it's the second year, I've never gotten flowers before. But now I'm getting little yellow flowers in the Creeping Jenny. And I think it's because this is an established plant now. Like I said, I've never gotten flowers before, but every other year I've bought them new from the nursery. And I thought, why bother? I could save a lot of money by just using the old ones. And as you can see, the new buds are here. And see, the old flowers just kind of die off. You don't have to, you don't deadhead them. They're so easy to take care of. You just make sure that you give them water when they're dry. It's been raining, so they're nice and moist. What I love about these new compact ones, well, I don't think they're new. I think they've always had them, but they're new to me, is that they don't get as tall and the flowers are just, there's so many more flowers. Look at how pretty that looks. Just so pretty. All right, so I do have regular sun patients, and I'm going to show you the difference between the compact and the regular. All right, so I have the regular ones. Sorry about that, my hand's in the way. Don't mind her, that's for my eBay business. I would have taken that down. Sorry about that. I had a half-naked mannequin on my wall. All right. So these are the regular sun patients, not the compact. And can you see? They're much taller. taller. You could see through the bottom of the stems. By the end of the summer, they'll be quite large. And they don't have as many flowers. But that's okay because, as you can see, this is it's lovely. I go out my door and I can see these. And there's my neighbor's yard and there's a street there and it will fill out and cover that so it will be a wall of flowers so if you want a larger taller coverage then the regular sun patients would be great and as you can see it's basically the same leaf the same flower everything's the same except they don't have as many flowers and they get taller and to me they seem leggier. So that's a regular sun patient. And we'll go back one more time, one more time for a real quick look at the compact ones again. See that? You really can't even see the stems, the bottom, because they're really full and they're shorter, compact. And I can see a huge difference in the amount of blooms that these have. So either way, regular sun patients or compact impatience, no matter what, they're beautiful. But 
depending on where you want to put them, how much coverage you want. Um, it's up to you. But these are a wonderful plant, easy to take care of. They look gorgeous, and I just love them with the Creeping Jenny in the front. And the cre Creeping Jenny, um, as summer progresses on, they do get long and all cut. They can be cut, just like a vinca vine. They don't grow like a vinca vine. Vinca vines can grow insane, but um, they can get long and you, you can cut them. Just remember, never cut your son patience. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want a wonderful, beautiful flower that's easy to take care of in the sun, part shade, part sun, full sun, full shade. Um, they come in red, a couple different colors of pink, white. I think they come in like a salmon color. They don't come in yellow. I wish they did, but they don't. But I like this color. I think I did red one year too. It looked pretty. But there's lots of variety, uh, varieties of colors for you to choose from. So enjoy, everyone. Have a great day or evening, wherever you are, or morning. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.